Good morning, dear student. So today we are going to discuss what Grimm's law is. So we have seen the uh, the divergence of uh, English language from Indo-European language, which is considered as the parent language of English language. And uh, now, as we all know, English is a language which exactly originated from the Low West Germanic language. Okay. So low West Germanic language. So uh, it, the low West Germanic language is a branch of Indo-European language from which English language has come from. Okay. Since uh, several invasions have taken pla place in the historical uh, events of uh, English, uh, the British, uh, there occurred several changes in the language, especially English language. So coming to Grimm's law, so Grimm's law, uh, it talks about the changes that happened in the Germanic language when it came from Indo-European language. So Indo-European language is the oldest form of language. So when Germanic language, when it diverged from its parent language, that is Indo-European language, there, there occurred certain changes in the pronunciation of the words especially the uh, change in the consonant sounds of words. And this was formulated by Jacob Grimm. And this is what we call as Grimm's law. The Grimm's law is the systematic study and the categorization of consonant sounds from uh, and the categorization of consonant sounds uh, from uh, Indo-European language to German language, so the change in the consonant sounds. So as Germanic language, the branch was diverged from Indo-European language and it underwent several changes in its pronunciation. And especially the changes happened in the consonant sound, which is uh, the consonant in the sense the stops or the plosive consonant, plosive sounds, the stops or the plosives. So stops or plosives are certain words like uh, uh, what to say certain uh, the pronunciation when we pronounce uh, pa, ba, ta, ka. These are considered as plosives. Plosives or it can also be called as stops. Okay. So the basic principles of this Grimm's law was first formed by Rasmus Rusk in the 19th century and later it was outlined in detail and categorized in a chronological way by Jacob Grimm and Jacob Grimm he is a German philologist. So what Grimm analyzed is he analyzed certain Latin words from uh, Latin words with Germanic language. Mm. And he found that the changes in the consonant sound had a definite pattern. And this is what he explains in his rule. And also it refers to the changes in the Indo-European plosive consonant that which underwent when the Germanic language broke out from the uh, parent language. Okay. And this formation is known as Germ uh, Grimm's law. And the changes, so we are going to see the changes in the Grimm's law. So this is what exactly called Grimm's law. Grimm's law refers to three sets of changes, three sets of changes. First change is Indo-European aspirated plosives changes to unaspirated voiced plosives, okay, in Germanic. So in Indo-European, the aspirated plosives Aspirated plosives is not the combination of uh, two sounds, for example, B, B, H. So this is what we call as aspirated plosives. And this changes into unaspirated plosives, voiced plosives. Okay. So unaspirated voiced plosives, it is B, B, H, B changes into B, B. I will give you examples so that you will uh, uh, come to know what it is. And the second set of changes, Indo-European voiced plosives changes into voiceless plosives in Germanic. Okay. And the third set of changes, Indo-European voiceless plosives changes into voiceless fricatives in Germanic. Fricatives is uh, 
a certain pronunciation like fa tha actually these uh, uh, this pronunciation is uh, like uh, when you uh, pronounce these letters the air flow will be blocked okay and in the when you pronounce first the air flow will be blocked and later a light air releases it has some hissing sound so such kind of words are called uh, what is a fricatives okay so now let's see some examples the first thing i told you that indo european aspirated voice plosive changes into unaspirated voices for example it was bh bh sound changes into b sound the words like uh, brada brada b h r a t a brada b h r a t a so this is an indo european language indo european actually most of the examples in indo for indo european language were taken from latin as well as sanskrit languages because uh, uh, only latin sanskrit uh, italian uh, words has uh, still uh, been existed as indo european language without any change whereas other languages had some certain changes so we can give examples only from latin and uh, sanskrit because other languages had got many changes and indo european language today is existed only in their what to say uh, only through this uh, latin as well as uh, sanskrit greek languages so the for example bra, brada brada bh bh is aspirated plosive so when this comes into germanic it changes into brada this is today's english which has uh, came from germanic language so bh changes into b so this is what i told you aspirated plosives changes into unaspirated plosives so this is unaspirated plosive b whereas this is aspirated plosives okay so you have another one example for example dha sound d h changes into da okay rudira r u d h i r a rudira changes that's uh, what is a sanskrit word when it came to uh, what is a english it is red r e d okay that is when it changed to germanic language okay and another one is gamsa g h changes into ga gamsa g h a m s a gamsa so gamsa means goose gamsa so g h g okay so this is uh, example so this is the first set of change that happened and uh, this was found by jacob grim and the next set of changes voiced plosives that is in indo european in old language which was voiced plosives when it came to germanic language it was transformed as voiceless plosives so voiced plosives changed into voiceless plosives for example ba this is this b sound ba changes into pa sound p sound okay pa so ba changes into so ba is considered as voiced plosive whereas pa is voiceless plosive so uh, liba l i b a i am sorry labia l i b i a labia is a uh, latin word which today we call it as lip so labia l a b i a later changes into that ba sound changes into pa sound and this is because of grims this is what found by grims that is the uh, transformations from ba sound to pa sound that is voiced plosives changes into voiceless plosives so indo european voiced plosives changes into voiceless plosives in germanic coming to the third set of uh, change so in third set of change it was voiceless plosives voiceless plosives which we saw pa so pa is a voiceless plosive so voiceless plosives in indo european language has transferred to german language as voiceless fricatives okay voice that is pa pa sound okay pa sound is changed to fa fricative sounds pa is changed to fa t ta sound changes to tha and uh, ka sound is changing to ha sound for example pa okay 
pa you have uh, uh, pa example is taken from mm. uh, latin pater 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 is a latin word you could see pa over there p p sound that when it changed into germanic language it becomes father fa pa sound changes into fa that is voiceless plosive pa changes into voiceless fricative fa okay so coming to the next ta ta sound is changing into ta sound ta is voiceless plosive in indo european tres tres t r e s that is when it comes to germanic language it is called tre t h r e so ta changes into ta sound and ka sound changes into ha sound for example kentum c e n t u m kentum it is a latin word as well as cordon cordon means c o r d e n cordon is also a latin word which means heart h e a r t kentum means 100 so ka sound is changed into ha sound whereas uh, cordon ka c o r d e n ka sound is changed into heart ha sound so these were the uh, what to say changes that is change uh, change in the plosive sounds the plosive sounds are changed uh, what to say changed and uh, this is the indo european plosive sound has changed in uh, germanic uh, language so this is what we study in grimm's law so finally let me tell you that a small thing bh okay bh is aspirated uh, plosive this in indo european this bh ba changes into ba sound for germanic and this ba in indo european changes into pa sound and for germanic and indo european pa changes into fa sound this is the transformation so these are all called plosives plosive words how these are transformed ba in indo european changes into ba for germanic language and ba in indo european is changed as pa sound in uh, germanic language pa in indo european is changed into fa sound in uh, germanic language so in such a way da da okay da sound is changed into da sound okay da which is indo european and this changes in germanic it changes to da and whereas da indo european da changes into ta in germanic and ta in indo european changes into tha in germanic okay so this is one two and another one set is ga ga in indo european changes into ga in germanic and this ga in indo european changes into ka in germanic and ka in indo european is transferred as ha in germanic so this is the change we see in uh, grimm's law okay so that is all for today so this is what grimm's law is all about so the changes in the words especially the consonant sounds the changes in the consonant sound was uh, the change when uh, germanic language when it diverged from uh, in the, uh, the, it, the germanic language when it diverged from uh, uh, indo european language there occurred uh, certain changes in the plosive uh, sounds okay the plosive sounds of germanic language and that is what is uh, systematically explained by grimm okay so that is all in grimm's law thank you thanks so much